Um, you know, deny that. I've not sat on my couch and watched Amir and Kel Brook over the years, you, you know, fight and thought I fancy a run at them too. I have done, you know, but uh, Amir's a good friend of mine, but that's the game with him. But I mean, I can't look any past the November 24th, really. Is Hatton Brook or Hatton Khan on the horizon? What about these two? Khan and Brook getting it on. Should be pretty spicy on this week's ringside. Mega fights on British soil may not be too far away. Isn't this sport fascinating? We've had Eubanks, Ben Collins. Now we can have Hatton, Khan, Brook. Great times ahead. Hatton's high-profile targets are side by side at last. Another former World King aiming to get straight back to the top in Amir Khan. An unbeaten rival, Kel Brook, who's deep in training ahead of his world title final eliminator. Boys, there's, there's clearly no love lost between you two. Uh, you'll hopefully eventually uh, uh, collide. Uh, what do you think of the, the way uh, Kel's come through the ranks and shot up there? I think he's, you know, he's a great fighter, a good fighter. I mean, he's been in there. Whoever they put in front of him, he's, he's beaten. And then that's the job he's in. You know, he's, he has to perform well. And he, he has been performing well. He's a tough fight, so and I think I think him him he him himself knows that he has to move up to that next world class level where he's gonna be fighting the world class fighters like the, the likes of Manny Pacquiao, the Tim Bradleys, uh, the 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 Maidanas, the Devin Alexanders, and you know that's the time that he can prove he is the best. I'm number one in Britain, so there's there's big fights out there, isn't there for for me, Atten and, and, and Khan, you know, for the fans, it's uh, it's gonna be a, a mega showdown. What makes great fights is great competition. Uh, we had Eubanks, we had Ben, we had Collins all fighting each other. Now we have you three uh, in the mix. This this could be a good little Bermuda Triangle, should I it say? It could be a good mix, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, you've got you've got three great fighters in Britain. I mean, I'm still at 140 pounds. I am thinking I'm moving up to 147, but I want to clean up this division first. And there's a few things I want to do uh, at the moment at 140. If I'd won the last fight, then I would have moved up to the next weight category. But at the moment, I'm still 140. But in the future, definitely, I think there will be fights between us all. I mean, you say three great fighters. What's great about Kel? You know, Kel, he's, he's, he's a good fighter. He knows he, can, he has a good eye. Um, I mean, I let him explain that himself, you know, how, how good he is. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, look, I, I always respect every fighter out there. Mm -hmm. And I never have bad things to say because it takes a lot of bottle to get in a boxing ring and fight. So, as a fighter, what does he do wrong? Well, you know, I mean, I've not seen much of him. I mean, the things, what I've seen of him, of him fight, you know, sometimes um, towards the later rounds, I think a bit of fitness can he can improve on a, a little bit of fitness um, and maybe uh, pushing it up on that world class level fighting maybe tough oppositions which you know I'm sure you'll agree with as well. You sparred before, haven't you? Yeah, we've sparred before. That and, is... and Kel will tell you about the sparring sessions. You know, yeah. and uh, we had a great sparring. And, uh, and what happened? You know what happened. Come on, Kel. What, what Kel, I used to I used to box Kel all around the ring, and I'm not gonna lie to you. That's the honest truth. I was in England camps, and you I, got you got schooled. I never got school. Listen, I was I was I, training for the Olympic Games at that time, and Kel was the ju at the juniors, and I used to school Kel in the ring. I've never been I've never been schooled ever. Yeah, oh, come on, Kel. I've I've been schooled. I've schooled, mate. I've okay, been okay, schooled. Well, right, when the day, look, it's one of them things. That was that was amateur days, and now in the professional days, it's, it's very totally different. different. Years it's very later. different. Hundred percent, it is different now. And a long, long, long time ago, ago. But, and it was a long time ago. Exactly. Now we're both in the pro ranks, and it's a different story. Kel's coming a lot. And so have I. I know you were offered the chance of fighting Timothy Bradley for, for the world title. Why didn't you take that, Cal? Because, you know, there's, there was that fight, obviously, Eddie and the promoter, from, from day dot, is, is, we've, we've had a plan to go the IBF route. And, you know, there's this fight now, and, and then there's the world title with, with no ties, no, you know, they won adoptions, Bradley, and the, the money weren't great. And obviously, I'm training for this fight now, and we, we know where we, where we want to go. We're, we're going for the IBF route, so. Uh, do you think he's right to do that, Amir? Well, you know, that's a fight I wanted against Tim Bradley. He would have fight me at 140. Um, there was two titles on the line, and I did offer him a 50-50 split down the middle. Um, financially, he was making a lot of money, and he didn't take the fight against me. I, and I begged him again to take the fight again. He didn't take it. But I think um, Kel would have been a good test for him, would have been a good fight for him. If he had got past Tim Bradley after a great win against Manny Pacquiao, that would have definitely put him right at the top. If Ricky Hatton wins, he's yeah. with a new mm -hmm. trainer with Bob Shannon, it's all happening. If he comes through against Sevchenko on the 24th, and we're looking at the three of you yeah. for next year, who do you see as a harder fight, Hatton or Brook? Well, you know, styles make fights. Um, I mean, I've sparred with Kel, I've, I've never sparred with Ricky, but I think um, a tough fight will be Ricky because Ricky has been in the in there with the world class opponents. He's he's been in there, he's shown that he's a class fighter at that level. Because you know, I mean, being in, being in the in the ring with Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, 
I mean, that's no joke, you get me? So he's, he has proven himself. Same what question. Sent to you, um, I, th I think Ricker, obviously, like I said, with the, with the experience and, you know, he's, he's an all-round fighter, he can take a shot, he can, he can keep coming and uh, he's got, you know, he's good engine and he, he's an actual action fighter. How do you think uh, Amir will fare at 147? Well, if, if, if he's in with me, he's, it's not going to be good. It's well, I think I'll be a but... better fighter at 147, you know, naturally making the weight a lot easier being physically lot, you know, a lot stronger as well. I mean, I think I do kill myself making 140, but that's because, you know, I have big ambitions at that weight division. But, you know, I think I'd be a better and stronger fighter at 147. Do you, think your, so then, do you think your speed will be the difference at 147 if you were to fight Kel, or do you think your power will be too I mean, much? Speed yeah. and power, you know, in the day, look, I have both, and I know I'll be a, such a stronger fighter. I mean, when I hit, when I'm sparring at 148, 149, I mean, the heaviest I've ever been is 152. And I think when I'm at that weight, I, I knock sparring partners out and I knock them down. But when I'm at 140, that's when the power just gets sapped a little bit. Kel, you're, you're big. You're big at the weight. Do you think you'll, you'll be able yeah. to handle that kind of...? No, I don't, I don't believe so. I think well, Acre, Acre, you know, Acre I've, beats I've, speed. I've, 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 I've faced bigger can't guys and tougher the, guys the, than, than Kel in sparring, honestly. Well. So, you know, in the day, he can say what he wants. I've been in a better position, so he has no room to say that I will not be able to... You know, lucky that ring isn't big enough. We could have gone in there, and put on the gloves, and had the had a little, any, any had time, little fight. Any time. You know, but I mean, Acre beat, Ac Acre beat speed, and it, you know, it's just a matter of time before I land one in, and, he, and he's, he's going gonna, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna, he's gone. I tell you what, the British Tasty. public, the British public would love to see you two and put Hatton in the mix as well. You could fight, you could have rematches. Bring back the glory days. Definitely, you know, at the end of the day, look, I'm not one fighter to say no to it. I mean, but I really think, look, Hatton is so one fighter. So it could fighter. happen? It could happen, definitely. But Hatton is one fighter who I have a lot of respect for. I take my hat off a bit to him because he has proven himself numerous times and fought the best. Has Kel done that? Ding, ding. Time out for now. Kel, do you think your paths are going to eventually cross you and Amir's? Yeah, I think, I think, I hope so for the fans, I think. Definitely, you know, it's a fight that the fans want to see. <laughs> He's leaning so, back. Um, <laughs> you know, I think I'm looking at eyes. It's a fight that the fans want to see and, you know, I'm, I'm happy to take it. We need it on Sky. Box office, I think, could be massive. <laughs> so, you know, well, let's get, let's get on, man. Let's Definitely. On. I'm, I'm going to move up to 147, hopefully, very, very soon. And, then I'll be in the mix. We remember the days, don't we, of Ben, Eubank, Collins, and the rematches, which were, which were great. Yeah, they <laughs> all fun. fought each other. Yeah. Watson as well. Yeah, great rivalries. I mean, if these two fight each other, add Ricky Hatton into the mix, you know, that will sell out any football stadium, and the whole country will be talking about it. So uh, I'm really looking forward to those fights if they happen. Twitter's going absolutely, absolutely crazy. There's a massive divan, uh, demand for these two uh, to get this fight on. So we're, we're hearing it from the horse's mouth. He's saying he got the best part of sparring. He said he did. It's been but they're both saying it's been years. It's been around years. I've, you know, everyone's. What about Amir Khan? You know, for years when I started professional, start I've from? always wanted it. You know, people saying this, that. So we need to get it on. Definitely, you know, I still think I'm a league above, but you know, if I have to start to step back a league and have to go down and knock him out, then I might have to do that, you know. But look, it, it's does this go back to the sparring? I mean, listen. I think so. I think he's going to be bitter about listen, how I treated listen. him in the sparring. Maybe that's why he's still get, bitter about that. That's why he wants to do that. that funny so dance, let's make, that you know, we'll make it happen one day. Like I said, I'm still 140. When I move to 147, I will move up and I will knock Kel Brook out. Now I've said it in front of everybody. He there. gets knocked out right? every time. We'll I'll see. knock him out. He'll we'll see what happens. Like I said, something. He has, he's going to have his opinion and my opinion. Well, what, you can't hold the shot. Shot. You know what, they've kept Audley Harrison we'll quiet here. You can't hold the shot. I don't remember. Audley, don't, don't stop me, Audley, don't stop me. You can't be down to him, but you've got tired of him. He likes to have a fight. He's, he's not about his chain trainers, smart in his defence. When he gets into it, he likes to have a fight. Have you been in with anyone decent? Have you been in with anyone decent? You turn down Bradley, you turn down Bradley, you turn down Mike Darn, the likes of Mike Darn. I'll fight Bradley, I'll do a unification fight with Bradley when I win my world title. If he beats Bradley, I fight the winner Bradley and Kel Brook. You always say that. stuff. You said that about Matthew White and you said fight Matthew White and then no, fight no, me. I didn't, I didn't nice. say that. I did not say that. But listen, if I thought you, I would knock you it's out. It's in the You'll melting pot. Out. We've Trust got to me. stop it for now. Our thanks Trust to me. Kel. Sure. Time out, Audley. Well done. And to Anna. <laughs> sure, you'll be watching Prize Fighter <laughs> on Saturday.